brains are remarkable. Miraculous, even. But they can't do everything. Unless we give them a little high-tech help. When children see the movie The Matrix, and they see Neo jacking an electrode and all of a sudden becoming a gung fu master, the first question they ask is, how can I get one? Well, this does not yet exist, but it's actually physically possible. The key to transforming learning from an organic process to a machine-like downloading of information is a squiggly bit of brain known as the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the gateway to memories. Short-term memories are stored right here in the prefrontal cortex, but eventually they have to be transferred to long-term memories, and that's where the hippocampus comes in. This part of the brain doesn't store the memories, but it does the appropriate conversion. At the University of Southern California, bioengineer Ted Berger has already proven that a computer chip can replace or enhance brain function. Right now, what our prosthesis does is to convert a code that's kind of in the middle of the hippocampus to what would be the output of the hippocampus. They've been able to take mice and access the electrical signals coursing through the hippocampus and record them. And then when they shot the message back into the hippocampus, the mouse remembered the task. We found that we can not only restore long-term memories, we can enhance the animal's ability to remember. You could think about using devices like this to greatly enhance human memory and to shorten the cycle for learning in terms of uh, downloading huge quantities of memory at a single time. Chips that augment our hippocampus could very well help us learn faster. So will that make them a must-have for competitive parents? At that point, it could create an arms race in elementary school. Rumors go out that, well, Jones's kid, he's been enhanced, and our Johnny has to compete with this enhanced kid. The reality is that with these kinds of technologies, they do not get distributed to everyone at the same time. Some people get it first, some people get it better. As a society, we have to really think long and hard about who gets this. If it's just the wealthy, that there are uh, real dangers that they will use it to consolidate their power and their wealth.